optogenetics has changed how neuroscientists study the brain. It provides a fast and precise method for controlling neurons using light. But how can light be used to control a neuron inside a functioning brain of a living organism? The key lies in a group of membrane proteins called opsins. Opsins are light-sensitive receptors that convert light into electrical signals by letting charged particles, called ions, cross the membrane as either channels or pumps. Opsins are able to respond to light thanks to a light-sensing chromophore, like retinol. When exposed to the correct wavelength of light, retinol changes from 11 cis to all trans and causes the opsin to activate and shuttle ions across the membrane. In nature, opsins are found in microorganisms, like the algae of Volvox, and allow them to move toward light and improve photosynthesis. In optogenetics, researchers have taken cells like neurons and genetically introduced opsins to artificially control their firing. Neurons fire in response to electrical signals created by the relative charge between the outside and inside of the cell. At its resting state, the inside of the neuron is more negative. Influx of positive ions through channels, like sodium, cause the neuron to become more positive until it reaches a threshold. This creates an action potential, where the positive charge is relayed down to the synapse, causing signaling to the next cell. Negative ions entering the cell have the opposite effect, making the relative charge inside the neuron more negative inhibiting firing. By introducing opsins to neurons, we can control these electrical signals with light. By bringing in positive ions like sodium, potassium, and protons, opsins can make the inside of the neuron more positive. This sets off an action potential and fires the neuron. Opsins can also be used to make the neuron more negative by bringing chloride ions in or sending positive ions like protons out. This blocks action potentials and inhibits firing. Through this process, opsins convert light into electrical gradients and effectively act as light-evoked on or off switches for neuronal firing. Because opsins are not naturally found in neurons, they need to be genetically introduced to cells as DNA. This is commonly done through viral delivery with AAV, or electroporation. A big part of successfully using optogenetic tools is making sure that opsins are only expressed in target cells. Scientists can target expression using tissue-specific promoters, AAV serotypes, and the ever-growing variety of recombinase systems. These techniques make it possible to target brain regions, neuron types, or even neuron cell bodies or projections. Optogenetics is a non-invasive, quick, and precise method for manipulating neurons even within a living organism. With optogenetics, we can link specific neurons to behaviors and control brain activity. These tools could hold the key to uncovering the underlying systems behind brain function and neurological disease.